Sorting photos can feel overwhelming, especially when you have thousands of images scattered across your computer. Maybe you've got holiday photos mixed with work images, duplicates piling up, and no easy way to find what you need. But with Adobe Bridge, you can quickly review, rate, and organize your photos with ease, without moving or duplicating your files, unlike some other programs. Bridge doesn't force you to import your images into a catalog. It simply works with your existing folder structure, allowing you to manage everything exactly how you like it. In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple step-by-step -step workflow to efficiently sort and organize your photos in Adobe Bridge. You'll learn how to quickly cull bad shots, find your best images, rename and categorize photos, and add searchable metadata, making your entire photo collection more manageable. And stick with me until the end, because I've got a bonus tip that will save you even more time, making sure your photos are instantly searchable even months or years from now. Step one, set up your workspace for faster sorting. Before we dive into sorting, the first thing you need to do is to set up Adobe Bridge for efficiency. The way your workspace is arranged can significantly impact your speed when sorting photos. A cluttered or default workspace may slow you down, while a clean and organized setup will help you quickly review, rate, and move files around. Think of setting up your desk before you start working. If everything is where you need it, you'll be much faster and more productive. Launch Adobe Bridge and open the folder containing your photos. Go to the Essentials area for a clean, structured layout. Adjust your workspaces by dragging the content panel where the photos appear to make sure it takes up as much of the screen as possible. Make sure the preview pane is visible to see a larger preview, and then enable the Filters panel by going to Window and Filter panel to help narrow down your selections later. Check that the Metadata panel is open to view the details for each photo. If it's not there, go up to Windows and select the Metadata panel. Now that Adobe Bridge is set up, let's start sorting. Step two, quickly review and cull photos using ratings and labels. One of the most time consuming parts of managing photos is culling through your images to remove unwanted shots and separating out the best ones. If you've ever found yourself scrolling endlessly through your old photos trying to find the good ones, this step will be a game changer. Adobe Ridge makes culling photos incredibly fast with star ratings and color labels. Instead of having to open up every image individually, you can fly through your library marking photos with simple keyboard shortcuts. This method allows you to separate the keepers from the clutter quickly, making your final selection process much easier. Select the first photo and press the space bar to enter the full screen preview. Use the arrow keys to scroll through your photos. If a photo is bad, so blurry, overexposed, accidental shot, or you just don't like it, press one to give it a one star rating, marking it for deletion later. If the photo is okay, but not the best, press two for a two star rating. If the photo is a keeper, press three or four, depending on how strong you feel about it. You can use color labels, which are the numbers from six to nine to categorize your photos. Red, number six, could be need editing, and green, number eight, could be final selection. By doing this, you'll quickly create a clear system where your one-star photos are ready for deletion, your three-star and above are your best shots, and your color labels help prioritize editing and use. Now, if sorting your photos is something you're trying to get better at, you might also be wondering how to tackle the bigger problem, sorting your entire photo collection across multiple devices, hard drives, and cloud storage. That's exactly why I created my Photo Mess Success courses, to help you get every photo into one place declutter your library and create a system that actually works. If that sounds like something you need, you can check them out at photomesssuccess.co.uk, where it'll help you go from photo mess to mastery, one step at a time. But for now, let's move on and start organizing your best shots into collections. Step three, using collections to organize your best shots. Once you've rated your photos, you need to find an easy way to find your best shots later. This is where collections come in. Collections allow you to gather images together without physically moving them from their original locations. Think of it like creating a virtual album. You can have multiple collections for different projects or themes without duplicating files and taking up extra space. 
In Adobe Bridge, go to the Collections panel. If it's not there, go to Window and Collections to get the panel. Click the New Collection button and name your collection. So, Best Shots London Zoo, whatever you like. Drag and drop your highest rating photos into that collection. What you could also do is you could automate this by creating a smart collection. So click to create a new smart collection, give it a name, set criteria like rating is three stars or higher, or the label is green, which is final selections. Then click save and Bridge will automatically add matching photos. Now, every time you add a three star or higher rating to a new photo, it will automatically appear in that collection. Bonus tip, automate your sorting with smart filters. Manually searching through folders and file names can be time consuming, but Adobe Bridge has an incredibly powerful tool that will save you hours of work, the filter panel. This lets you instantly narrow down your search by filtering photos based on ratings, file type, dates, camera models, and even specific keywords. If you ever find yourself endlessly scrolling trying to locate a specific shot, this tool will be a lifesaver. Open the filter panel. If it's not there, go to Window and add the filter panel. Use the checkboxes to instantly filter photos by star ratings, so only show four stars, file type, raw or JPEG, camera models, could be color rating, whatever you want. Click multiple filters to refine your search. This feature ensures that you can find exactly what you need in seconds, rather than manually digging through thousands of files. And that's my ultimate Adobe Bridge workflow for sorting your photos like a pro. But what if you want to have a bit of a declutter of the photos on your phone, then check out this little video next. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.